That was terrible. So was that. Alright, reset. It's better. Sometimes I skip casting, skipping, pitching, so on. <coughs> the more time you have, the um, worse the cast. It's like anything, I guess, once you get into that that rhythm, you just don't think about it, just do it. I can hear my daughters cringing as I say that. I used to say that to them quite a lot when they were learning to cast, particularly skip casting and targeting snags. It's don't think about it, just do it. Deep dark corner back there. That's the one. And they're hungry fishing up. He was on it as soon as I got in there. <coughs> You'd see him stick his head out. Little hinchy jack. Just a bit undersized, this fella. You see he nailed that plastic. So, uh, these guys, I'm almost certain, think that they're crabs swimming through the mangrove roots or falling out of the trees so i'll get the hook out of this guy he's already got his pink bling and we'll get him back in as quick as we can ah. yep, must be something wrong with that hook yeah so this is my setup you can see there uh, TT chin lock, but also use a bit of copper wire to um, bridle plastic on and then I put um, a part lumo bead on the shank there to um, hold it in position and it's that that was slipping down and I think throwing the plastic out of shape which is why it wasn't skipping and then exposing the hook a bit too much which is why it was um, getting hooked up much better now <laughs> he travelled a bit to try and get it. Oh, he's right there. Well, the fact that he come back a second time means that he may very well come back a third time. Most jacks don't come back a second time if they've if they've grabbed it, but we'll um. We'll go back and have a look. Once I get this one in. <laughs> Obviously this is a good spot for jacks. This guy's not all that big, but we've got to tag in him and see if we can get the one over there. Alright, another one with a pink bling. On back to his snag. I'm fishing pretty close to the mangroves here, but I'm not sure whether you notice, but if you look at my shadow that I'm casting, I'm trying to keep it out of where the fish might be sitting in those mangroves. I don't want to spook them, and any shadows that come across that they're, you know, that they're not used to, that shouldn't be there, it's potential to uh, to spook fish that are sitting in there. So important, all these things to think about, you know, noise, shadows, movement. Some days the fish are really feeding and it doesn't matter what you do, they just don't spook. But it's those days that are really tough that you want to do everything you can to try and avoid spooking fish. <laughs> no. 
see if we have another go if I can get under there. Oh, he did come back for another go. <laughs> oh, he's hoping it's gonna be a little bit bigger, but that's still fun. Oh, back to your snag. Oh, go on.